Today on Black Permitting Shooting, my buddy Steve here has a very, very unusual gun that we're going to talk about and fire it. In the early days of black powder shooting, people had to find a lot of guns that may have been original guns and add parts to them or even add modern parts to the guns to get them to work again. Bear in mind, folks, that back then there were no CVA kits, there wasn't any Thompson Center kits, things of that nature back in the 50s and 60s. And you had people that just sat around and figured out, how can I make a muzzle loading gun and be able to shoot it? Well, this particular gun here today, this was built by a gentleman by the name of KZ Belcher. He's from my home county of Powell County, Kentucky. It was built probably in the early to mid 1960s. It's a very interesting gun. What he did was he took the barrel off an old uh, Russian rifle, what I always was told, and cut it off. And this barrel length looks to be, to me, maybe around 14, 15 inches, just eyeballing it. I don't have a ruler here in front of me. Of course, he, uh, had to find a way to cap it to make to make a breech plug you know drilled into the side he took this uh, hammer that's on here off an old uh, an old double barrel shotgun that was used to make it and then some of the other parts to me looks like may have come off like an old shotgun he was kind of a tinkerer welder i mean he may have he may have put some of these parts together himself you know something i always thought was neat was you know, he used uh, shell casings and stuff like for the thimbles on the ramrod and then the, uh, the ramrod itself is actually like a, you know, it's got a shell casing and stuff there on the end. It's kind of it, neat the way it was put together. He put stag grips on it. It is a, a 45 caliber, but where, you know, it's Russian, it may have been metric, but a .440 ball and like a .015 patch works works great in it. And uh, Mr. Belcher, he's he's long gone on now. Uh, he actually is, is in my family and very proud to own this gun. It's been in the family for a long time. He put together several interesting and unusual type guns during his life, and this is one example of those. Can we see it shoot? Yes, sir. We're going to do that in just a second. Use about 35 grains of 3F Schutzen to put in the gun. This, this gun has a very short barrel, so we don't want to use a whole lot of powder in it because it might jump out of our hand. We're going to lube it up where it'll go down the barrel real smooth with some Mr. Flintlock lube. And where this gun has got kind of an unusual barrel, I'm going to use a ball starter to get it started and just a plain hammer to get it to go down into the ball to go down into the barrel. Then we use uh, Mr. Belcher's uh, homemade rim rod. That's some shell casing. I can't remember. I can't see what the uh, caliber was on it. And this actually, to me, looks like this might have been an arrow at one time. And it's like I said, this is 1960s technology. Nothing wrong with that. All right, this here is just a standard uh, number 11 cap. What are you gonna do? You gonna shoot Daffy Duck? Yep, that's what we'll try to hit offhanded. Knock him out. Oh, what a shot. Make my day. Wow, that's just absolutely too cool of a pistol. Uh, I'd like to try that one time, you don't mind? I think I'll let you. I believe you'll have fun with the Let's case do it. Belcher pistol. See if I can get that hog dinner, huh? All right. Take him out. I think you can. Yes! That is a cool, cool homemade gun, Steve. Wow! Shoots well. That's Still cool. shoots good. That is just too cool. Thanks for letting me try that. You're very welcome, Mark. Hey, I was really impressed. You've never shot this gun a day in your life. I hadn't shot it in 20 years, probably. And we both hit with it, so yes. you can't beat that. Yes! Oh, man, I love it. Hey, thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time.